Hi, welcome to a cat guild. Today we will discuss about Angular 2 interview questions. In this video, we will cover directives and components. Let's start with our first question. What are directives? And explain attribute directives. So this is the very basic question which can be asked during interviews of Angular 2. The answer is directives are instructions which tell angular to do something with directives you can attach behavior to the elements in the dom let us create a simple directive so to import a directive you need to add this statement import directive from angular core and then you need to use add the rate directive notation which will need selector property that will be used to apply this directive anywhere in the code. So let's add that directive property. So we have a selector here. Let's say it's highlight mean. We will put that in the single quotes. Here export this class so that we can use that class outside export class let's say my directive so we have a directive with the selector as highlight me so let's add that in the one of the component let's say we have p element and inside this we can add its selector name highlight me so let's say welcome to this app for example so this directive is doing nothing right now so let's add the constructor first constructor in this constructor you need to pass one element ref so that we can access that element which is using this directive so let's say el element ref we need to import this element ref from the angular core so we can add it here element ref So let's say el dot native element dot style and let's say background if we want to change the background of that element we can specify here background background color let's say it's yellow for now we need to add this directive in the module section as well so i already have this import my directive from the directive class and i'm adding that in the declaration part so let's run this and we'll go to the terminal and compiling this and let's open the chrome let's say localhost 4200 so we have this welcome to this app here so let's apply this directive so we have highlight me welcome to this app so highlight me is the selector so let's go to the selector part
we need to add the square brackets and let's refresh this now if you see this welcome to app is highlighted with the yellow color so we are applying this directive to the element which is inside the component here so let me change this color to red and compile this so if you load this application it will show you the red color so this is the simple directive which is changing the behavior of the element let's move to the second question how many types of directives are there in angular 2 there are three types of directives in angular 2 one is component one is structural directive and the attribute directives the same which we have just discussed earlier question number three how events are attached in the directive so let's add the events to attach events we need to use host listener decorator it lets us to subscribe events of the dom elements that host an attribute directive let's add this is syntax so let's say we have at the rate host listener let me add here mouse enter event on mouse enter so this is the function and let's add host listener here copy this maybe the spelling is not correct and let's add one more function let's say private highlight so it will accept one string parameter let's say color with the type string which will have the access of element el native element and then let's say style and background color equal to color so whatever the color we will pass it will apply that so let's add private here el and let's say this here dot el so on load it will apply the color red and when we do the mouse center we need to pass the other color so let's say this dot highlight and let's pass here yellow okay let's add two mouse leaf function here as well so i'm copying this so let's say mouse leave and on mouse leave function we are highlighting that back to red color or well, let's say green color so i'm refreshing this so if you see when i load this application the color is red when i move the mouse over this element the color will be yellow and when i leave this mouse the color become green so you can add different kind of events on this element inside your directives so like on click whatever the button if you want to change the property on that event you can do that you just need to add the host listener okay let's move to the next question how do we pass external data into directives so with external data means 
you can pass any data from the different component into that directive so for this you need to use at the rate input data binding let me show you how to add that binding here so let's import input and we can add one variable with the input directive at the rate let's say input and let's say default color now this is string type so for example if we need to add this default color from outside the directive from outside the component into this directive so let's say we have highlight me here and let's say default color uh, let's say blue okay so we have access to this default color from outside the directive so we are passing this as blue by default so we need to write some code to apply this color so let's go back to the directive so here we are not using this default color property so let's add that somewhere so let me add one interface let's say on in it so we need to implement implements on it so you need to override one function to apply this on in it interface that is ng on in it so this is a function which will be called when you load your directive so let's say this dot highlight and let's say pass this dot default color so we are passing default color which is coming from outside the directive to this element so when we load this okay we are getting some error here unable to resolve signature of a property decorator and called as an expression okay at the rate so we need to provide a function here it's compiled so if you see when i load this it not only it's ng on in it calls so color is blue we are passing outside from outside into this directive so this way you can pass the data into the directive by using at the rate input let's move to the question number five what are structural directives name few angular built-in structural directives structural directives are responsible for html layout these directives shape or reshape the dom structure typically by adding removing or manipulating elements for example we have ngf we have ng4 we have switch case we, we have a lot of different kind of built in structure directives so let me show you the ngf first let's add one button here let's say button and we have one method here click event and let's say on btn click function and let's say show hide welcome message 
so we need something to show or hide this methods with ng if directive so let's add that directive here so every structure directive will start with the asterisk sign let's add ng if so we need to pass some condition here let's say we have some count i will add the count count if count equal to um okay count um, let's say modular 2 equal to 0 so this is the condition so this p element will be visible when the count model 2 equal to 0 so let's add this condition in app component so let's uh, we already had it uh, count here with the number 0 and let's add this function on btn click so this function will increment your count let's say add here i'm removing this console so this will add this count plus plus let's run this so we have this show and hide welcome and so if i click on this it will hide and if i click on again it will count will increase and the condition will change so let's see what is happening behind the scenes so let me inspect this so if you see here we have this div element and we have a button here so this is bind with the ng reflect ng if equal to true so if the count is model 2 is equal to 0 it will show this p element so when i click on this again now you will not see any p element it will not present in the dom element so what ng if is doing here it will add the element if the condition is true and if it is false it will remove from the dom element let's click here and if you see here again the p element will appear